What is going on in this photo? Now this has been up for a few days and I have been posting it on Twitter and on Facebook and even on Instagram. Now before I get started, Twitter locked me out of my Grunt Vet 2012 Twitter, uh, Twitter page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list uh, my Twitter accounts on the bottom and if you're on Twitter I encourage and invite you to go to Twitter and follow me there but my Grunt Vet 2012 channel I'm locked out of that I can't get back into that as a matter of fact all of the people that I followed on Twitter Twitter removed the people I followed so I'm completely locked out I'm not looking forward to getting that account back. If I get it back in the future, fine. But if not, so be it. But in the meantime, and in between time, I'm going to list my Twitter pages on the bottom. And I encourage you to go and follow me there. Now, this is a photo of Bill Clinton that's been up for a few days. I kind of waited to see if mainstream media or CNN was going to run it like if this was President Trump, CNN, MSNBC, CBS, uh, the Demon Crap Congress, everyone would be talking about this photo. As a matter of fact, black people wouldn't stop talking about the photo if this was Trump. But since this is a demon crap, since this is Bill Clinton, nobody's really talking about this. Only Trump supporters are talking about this photo. Now, what I find interesting about that, the first question is, why would this man have an image like this hanging in his house of Bill Clinton in the Oval Office? Because if you look on the bottom, you can see that that's in the White House, the carpet. He's wearing red pumps. I guess that's what those shoes are called, red heels. And he's in Hillary Clinton's dress. So I'm going to title him Billary, Billary Clinton. Now, I understand how the Bible talks about how when a man and woman come together, they become one. A man leaves his father and mother and cleave to his wife and those two become one. This is taking it a bit too far. Now as you see in this photo right here, Hillary Clinton is wearing what looks like to be the same dress that Bill Clinton is wearing in this image. This is no more than the devil in a blue dress. This right here is the devil in the blue dress. Now, I've been talking about this kind of stuff for years. And maybe this is one of the reasons why YouTube have been silencing people like myself that talk about things like this. Because a lot of times when we talk, speak on things, they refer to it as a conspiracy theory, right? But could it be that we've actually tapped into something that they did not want to take legs and run? Well, apparently there's a lot of stuff that now is starting to come into the light. See, what's done in the dark will come to the light. And now, let there be light. And it's interesting that he's wearing a blue dress. Now could this be a sign of him being in the blue lodge of masonry? Let there be light. And there was light. See that light is the knowledge of who and what Bill Clinton really is. Now it's quite interesting that Obama appeared on the scene 
and he came talking about change. Now, I spoke on this change in the past. And of course, you have black Americans that attack me because Obama is their superhero. Obama became their Christ, their Messiah, and even their God for some. To the point where even today, they still can't stop talking about him. Always post the nonsense. So when Obama came with change, it wasn't the type of change that you and I were thinking about. Obama was thinking change as transgenders, supporting homosexuality. And yet now we see that he and Bill Clinton or the Clintons became extremely tight. And now we have a photo that surfaced, a painting that hung in a pedophile's home. A dude that raped children, a dude that had a whole island to himself where certain people would go out there. Which Bill Clinton was also spotted as going out there. I'm wondering if Obama also went there as well. His hands are not clean. So now that this man killed himself because now things begin to start manifesting itself, this painting surface of Bill Clinton wearing a blue lodge or a blue dress with red shoes. Now maybe this is some type of uh, masonry or Illuminati type of information or symbols or signs that only certain people can really understand. But what, what's quite interesting is that Hillary is wearing a dress that looks similar to that. So is it that Bill Clinton always envied to be like Hillary? And in secret, he played house, he played the wife to the point where this man had his photo. I'm sure there's quite a bit dudes that went to that place, but he's got Bill Clinton's photo hanging in his house. This tells a story. The devil in a blue dress. So, feedback, tell me what you think. I think this is some crazy, creepy mess. And this is what y'all voted for. This is demon crap activity. And many black people still follow this. No wonder so many black people jumped on um, the rainbow train. When they start talking about transgenderism and homosexuality and, you know, black people jumped on that bandwagon. And then all of these people started coming out of the closet, so to speak. All these people start revealing themselves. The light starts shining upon them. Let there be light. And there was light. So now we know who Bill Clinton is. Now I want to sit back and observe to see how many black folk will still support Bill Clinton. And it's interesting that they say that he's the first black president, Bill Clinton. But yet the first black president is now revealed as wearing a dress. And the black man has taken on the face of the gay agenda. The first black president, Barack Obama, or better yet the second black president, Barack Obama came with a gay agenda. Is there some type of message behind that? And this image of Bill seems quite comfortable in that dress. And he's pointing at the artist as to say, I want to be loved by you. <laughs> Don't it look like that? It look like I want to be touched by you. I want to be plugged by you. I want to be jammed by you. With a smile on his face, legs crossed, 
red heels on, devil in a blue dress. Oh, red, white, and blue. Bill Clinton is white. The dress is blue. The shoes are red. Hmm. Bill Clinton is all American. He's all American. Red, white, and blue. And now this is what the country represents. So feedback, tell me what you think. Click on the links on the bottom, follow me on Twitter. Click the PayPal link, support this channel. Until next time, I'm fearless.